Welcome to 7 Report. Today, our top story, August the 19th, 2015, Great Britain's Public Health England declares vaping around 95% less harmful than smoking tobacco. Thanks to the release of an official government report today, August 19th, 2015, the arguments against vaping as a health risk have been shown to be baseless. The Public Health England, PHE, report states that vaping is around 95% less harmful than smoking tobacco. Any attempts at banning, restricting, or heavily regulating vaping based on health concerns have been exposed as lies. Local, state, or federal agencies that do try to implement restrictions or bans on vaping are doing so solely based on economic reasons. The report, officially called an Expert Independent Evidence Review from PHE, also shot down a number of common misconceptions about vaping, including stating that vaping has the potential to help smokers quit. There is no evidence that e-cigarettes are acting as a route into smoking for children or non-smokers. And nearly half the population doesn't realize e-cigarettes are much less harmful than smoking. The release of this report comes as great news to the vaping community and confirms what we have experienced for years. Vaping is the most effective means to quit smoking. And the report stated that vaping is the number one means of quitting smoking in England. The report did raise a concern, namely that increasing numbers of people believe that vaping is as or more harmful than smoking. It stated that the ongoing negative media campaigns are a plausible explanation for the change in perception. Professor Kevin Fenton of PHE said, the problem is people increasingly think vaping is at least as harmful as smoking, and this may be keeping millions of smokers from quitting. Local stop smoking services should look to support e-cigarette users in their journey to quitting completely. Professor Ann McNeil of King's College said e-cigarettes could be a game changer in public health, in particular by reducing the enormous health inadequacies caused by smoking. Professor Peter Hayek of Queen Mary University started, my reading of the evidence is that smokers who switch to vaping remove almost all the risks smoking poses to their health. Smokers differ in their needs, and I would advise them not to give up on e-cigarettes if they do not like the first one they try. It may take some experimentation with different products and e-liquids to find the right one. Now, the fact that the very first government agency in the world to come out so strongly in support of vaping is from England is not lost on vapors who remember last September's tirade on BBC Radio and Twitter by Professor John Ashton, president of Britain's Faculty of Public Health. Ashton went on the radio making spurious claims and then the next day was trolling Twitter, berating vapors and comparing them to sexual deviants and referring to one in particular by a derogatory term for a part of the female anatomy. The FPH temporarily suspended Ashton following that two-day rant. In the United States, the FDA is accepting comments until August 31st on its proposed rule on nicotine exposure warnings and child-resistant packing for e-juice. The PHE report also states that vaping should not routinely be treated in the same way as smoking. It is not appropriate to prohibit e-cigarette use as part of smoke-free policies. Other highlights of that report include, when used as intended, e-cigarettes pose no risk of nicotine poisoning, and e-cigarettes release negligible levels of nicotine into ambient air with no identified health risks to bystanders.
No problems with secondhand vapor. Please share this video, especially with your friends who are still using tobacco products, and use the evidence presented in the PHE report to respond to anyone who states that vaping is as deadly as smoking. Now, you can find a link to the PHE report and to the FDA and CASA on the article on our website, 7report.com. Thanks so much for spending some time with us on 7 Report today. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit the rest of our website, too, 7report.com. You do need to spell out the word 7. We update it all the time with news and commentary, hardware and e-juice reviews and other articles, too. So please do keep coming back to both the YouTube channel and the website, 7report.com. Thanks for being with us today, and embrace the vape.